It's Friday, March 24, 2017, and I'm pleased to welcome you to today's edition of the local news. In the news, CARICOM Youth Ambassadors promote CMSMA, stricter control on meat and meat products imported from Brazil. Power company EBS informs society on procurement procedures. Judge rejects claim of police union. I'm Susan Mena and your local news begins now. The CARICOM Youth Ambassadors Samaidi Akima and Eugenio Bruce want to create awareness among young people for the Caribbean single market and economy CSMA. People are not very aware of the benefits of CSMA, said Bruce. They want to achieve the objective by including information to young people in the form of books and reports. On July 1, 1995, Suriname officially became a member of the CARICOM. Membership of the common market meant that we are part of the common goods market and the goal was to create free movement of goods between the number of countries of CARICOM, for example, by moving import duties on goods. Even before Suriname's entry into CARICOM, the member countries of the CARICOM in 1989 decided to create a common market economy. When Suriname joined, the transformation process was already started. Imported meat and meat products from Brazil are being inspected more strictly. To ensure food security and safety, the Ministries of Trade and Industry and Tourism, Health and Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries launched an inquiry into the quality of these products. Tuesday, there have been discussions with the Ambassador of Brazil on this issue. Importers of meat and meat products from Brazil are also involved in the inquiry. All meat products from our neighboring country in stores are now inspected and examined. The meat shipments in transit towards Suriname will be checked before they are released for consumption. The authorities ask the society to check for themselves what they buy and when they notice irregularities, they should report to the Department of Consumer Affairs of the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Tourism. The EBS wishes to inform society that there is a coordinated procurement process in its internal affairs while various mechanisms have been built leading to an orderly and transparent procedure. The responsible managers and users of the to-be-procured materials will be involved in the purchasing process from the application of the purchase. In addition, they will look at the potential suppliers on the basis of experience, delivery, quality and price to be invited to participate in the procurement or it will be made public. There is also an evaluation commission within the company that at each procurement evaluates the tenders, whether the proper procedures are observed. After which an advice is issued by the commission to the board. The advice is presented by the executive board to the supervisory board, which defines its approval in a decree. EBS has given the many mistakes in the past and the current financial situation of the company deliberately opted for this process and the board is still paying extra attention to this. Judge Alida Johans has rejected the claim of the Surinamese Police 
Union SPB against the state of Suriname, the Minister of Justice and Police and the Chief of Police regarding the sports test. The union demanded that the sports test and being in possession of a driver's license should be abolished as promotion requirements. Despite the court ruling, the union, according to Raul Hellings, president of the union, is still of the view that the sports test and being in possession of a driver's license cannot be used as requirements for the promotion of police ranks. According to the union president, these grounds are clearly mentioned in the general police regulations. For the end of the month, a general members meeting is scheduled where the members of the police union will be informed of the verdict. According to Hellings, the union will undoubtedly appeal the verdict. That concludes our local news for today. Thank you for joining us. Have a good weekend. Good day.